life, the love, and the legacy of Margaret Ann Wilson, whose prints have touched them, <clears throat> whose words have affected lives, and whose presence has enhanced souls. We will now have a music selection followed by the scripture and prayer. today is found in Psalms 23. It reads as follows, the Lord is my shepherd, mm -hmm. I shall not want. Mm -hmm. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff they comfort me. Yes. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemy, and you anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Mm -hmm. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Mm -hmm. Let us pray. Dear God, we come today, hearts heavy, eyes collecting tears.
carry us every step of the way. Yes. This is our prayer of supplication to you, O oh Lord, knowing that you are able to do all things yes, yes. and to do them well. In the name of Christ Jesus, we pray. to express their gratitude and thanks to any and everyone who showed care and concern, sent condolences, whether you sent a flower, said a prayers, called, text, however you may have responded. The family would like you to know how much they appreciate every act of kindness. May God continue to bless you as we move forward in this life. This time the obituary is read silently while the music is played.
I'd like the memory of me to be This time we'll have a musical selection. Can't let a day go by without praising his name. I can't forget mm, from whence I came. They go by counting the cost. Mm -hmm. Can't let a day go over without praising his name. Been through the fire. said, well, I've been in training and I've taken a lot of punches and I've prepared for a lot of punches. And those punches that I prepared for did not always prepare me for the surprise. The boxer said, I was in training and I trained hard and I had some of the best sparring partners who I know could hit the hardest and last the longest. 
The boxer said it was old surprise punches that knocked me out. Well, sisters and brothers, we live in a life, a world in which oftentimes we are caught by surprise. But sometimes even in preparation uh, for death as a result of sickness, we still are caught by surprise. Because we're caught by surprise because we don't know the day nor the hour when the call will come and the words will be spoken. And I don't care how much you prepare, we're never prepared. <laughs> the good news on this sad day is, is that Miss Margaret was saved. Mm. On last night, we went and had a family gathering. After the family gathering, my phone started ringing. And some of the people that were calling were a part of the same family, which let me know there's a problem. I answered one call and called the other calls. And all of them said the same thing. Our brother is gone. And one fellow this morning, I was going to call in the family last night, but I know he goes to bed at 9 o'clock. When I called him this morning to see how he was doing, he was excited. And I said, why are you excited? He said, my brother's gone to be with the Lord. The good news is, is Margaret is not lost. <laughs> Margaret has gone home. The good news is, is that Margaret, while Margaret was here on earth, Margaret had health that gave her hope that allowed her to serve others. The scripture we read earlier, you're hearing the 23rd Psalm, I'm sure was a familiar passage with Margaret. After surveying Margaret's life and learning that Margaret was a helper, Margaret was a lover. Margaret was a server. These things are not learned in life. They're only learned through the one who is the helper, the one who is the server, the one who loves us unconditionally. The psalmist said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. And when we are at a place of knowing that the Lord is our shepherd, we can help others because we know he'll help us. We can do for others because we know what he's done for us. Oh, yeah. We can serve others because we know that he served us. He said that, Lord, he makes me to lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters, which says that no matter how turbulent or how troublesome life can be, uh, he'll make sure that I'm at peace. He'll make sure that I'm calm. And he'll make sure that I get rest. Mm -hmm. Margaret was one who was always making sure that others had, that others were comforted, that others were taken care of. When you talk to folks from New Hope, they would say that she would feed us, <laughs> she would nurture us, mm -hmm. she would love us. Even when she was in the kitchen, when she couldn't stand no longer, she would bark out orders, but she would bark out orders in love. That's because she knew the Lord as the shepherd. She knew the Lord as a comforter. She knew the Lord as a keeper. Then she knew the Lord would restore her soul. Because as we go through this journey called life, life has a way of draining you and pulling the best out of you. But when you know who to go back to, when all has been pulled out of you, you can keep on serving. Mm -hmm. Not only does he restore our soul, but he leads us in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Oh, yeah. Jesus said on one occasion, do good works so that men and women can see what you do and give God the glory. Yes, sir. All that Margaret ever did was for the glory of God. Whatever dish she made was for the glory of God. Whatever hand she held and whatever heart she massaged was for the glory of God. Because if one thing about this life, every now and then we'll have to go through the valley that we're in right now. But the valley we're in right now, we have the assurance of a God who will guide us through it. What does the psalmist say? Even though I go through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Why? Because I know who's with me. Oh, yes. I know who comforts me. And I know he keeps me. He's got a rod and a staff. Oh, yeah. One to keep me together and others to keep others away. Then he prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemy. People may have asked, how do you smile in the midst of trouble and trial? Well, because I know 
who supply in me. Because Margaret was able to cook because the Lord cooked for her. She was able to serve because the Lord had served her. Mm -hmm. She was able to bless because the Lord had blessed her. And the other point that the psalmist makes, he anoints my head with all. What does he do? He allows his spirit to cover me, to keep all other stuff out of me. Because sometimes the actions and words of others can affect our soul. So what does the psalmist, the psalmist say that the shepherd does? He anoints me with his oil, which represents my his spirit, yeah. which fills the my cup with joy, which allows me to continue to serve. And because of that, I'm not going anywhere, anywhere. for the rest of my life. Margaret served, she loved, she helped, she held. And so for the rest of her life, her earthly life, she gave her allegiance and commitment to God. I challenge each one of us to take a page from Margaret's book. Whatever we've seen her do, whatever faithful we've seen her serve, however wonderful we've seen her live, let's take a page from that book because it all happens when we allow God to be our shepherd, to guide us through, to keep us up, and to move us forward. As long as he's your shepherd, you've got a guide for your life. You don't have to worry about being lost because he'll guide you through it. You don't have to worry about being depleted because he'll restore your soul. You don't have to worry about the valleys we go through because he'll get us out of it. For the rest of our lives, he will take good care of us. God has taken good care of Margaret. Margaret has taken good care of you. Now we're left with the charge to take care of one another. Let us pray. Dear God, we come today thanking you once again mm -hmm. for the life that was lived, the hands that touched, the words that were spoken, the service that was rendered. We thank you once again, oh God, for the person and presence of Margaret and Wilson. God, her memory remains through her family and friends. Death can take away the body. Death cannot take away the love. Nor can it take away the impressions that were made. And for that we say thank you. So may her spirit continue to reside in the hearts and minds of her children. And may her words continue to guide her family through this weary lane. And may her spirit continue to live in those she poured into. This is our prayer in the precious name of Jesus. And all of us say together, Amen. The internment will take place at the Green Meadows Cemetery. Let us now stand for the benediction.
メンバーとしてバックビート。